Shepherd, come to us. Come to us. Come to us. Gentle Shepherd, come to us. Shepherds have scattered. Where are the shepherds? 
shepherds. They have run from the intimidating force that says, give me a man. As Goliath stood, they stand and they prod. Barack Obama, come. Come and give us a man that we may fight and show you our strength. But the Spirit of the Lord says, I have young men and women, 16 years, 17 years old, 22, 25, like David. And they do not want to hide under the armor of Saul. God says there is a new way, and yet it is an old way. I am a stone for this generation. I am the stone for this generation. That stone is my son. That stone is the rock Christ Jesus. And that stone shall be given to the Davids of this generation. And they shall bring down the force of hell that is crying from Russia, from Syria, from Iran, from all over the world. Crying, give us blood, give us blood, give us blood, give us blood. But the Spirit says, no, there shall be no world war yet. For I am yet to show you the manifestation of a rock in the hand of a generation that shall bring down the voice of hell. This is my will. Look for it, for it is coming, says the Spirit of God. Thank you so much for joining us today for Prophetic Rewind. And you know what this year is? This is our year of victory. And we are celebrating our victory before the battle has even begun. Although I know we're facing many battles already. We know that this is going to be a crazy year. But God has spoken and what through my dad, the things that he prophesied, it is incredible to see what is coming to pass. And it is such an honor for me to be able to give you every week these prophetic rewind broadcasts and so i just wanted to give you an opportunity to sow into what we're doing here with prophetic rewind and i just wanted to let you know how much it means to us there's uh, at the bottom of your screen there's going to be all the different ways that you can give and whatever god tells you to give in your obedience i know he will bless you so i won't take any more time let's get back into this broadcast and remember this is our year of victory
toe. The Spirit of God says to you, Thank you for inspiring my prophet. Thank you for the earnestness that is in your heart to see this expression cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. Thank you for joining your heart to his and for this I will bless you for today something happened to him as you transferred my song to him Spirit of God tells the people watching why fight and rage against each other the shepherds are scattered stand and I watch my house become a den of thieves again do not tell the people lies do not misrepresent me rumors of war yes but I have yet to give you that which I have kept for last the glory of God that shall cover the earth with knowledge and manifestation as the waters cover the sea it is yet to come before I return you are the generation that shall defy death and there were those that were lost in the battle Gregory a soldier to be multiplied throughout the earth and many others The Spirit of God says, come to me with tender hearts and let my prayer come to pass. In John 17, I pray that they are one as you, Father, and I are one. Let the Spirit of unity come upon us today and let the fragrance of that unity 
come before the Lord as a sweet, sweet fragrance. And so we thank you, Lord, for your spirit. Mike, I need you here. Welcome, everybody. den you cannot deny his presence I may not say the words that you would like me to say or be the orator that you prefer but when Naaman the leader of the Syrian army the commander came to Elisha the one thing I want you to understand is a prophetic word sacred prophetic word preserves a household a life a nation and when, Eli when, when the Syrian commander came to Elisha he wanted to know what it would take for him to be rid of the leprosy. That's all he wanted. That was his crisis. Every one of you has a crisis. But we are facing a global crisis, as we all know. Now, what is the answer? We've looked to leaders who have hidden and run from the voices of intimidation God says there's only one thing that will keep you my word spoken through the mouth mouths of his leaders you can you can go if you wish to revelation and constantly bombard the people's minds with it's the end of the of the world or you can dig a little deeper and realize that God has not finished with this marble, this globe that sits in the universe inhabited by lives and souls and expressions and souls. Một người hy sinh tất cả để yêu Một người ngôn ngàn bỏ rơi biết bao điều Để một mình em cô đơn xứ bóng đêm Anh xin lỗi khi đã nói lời từ chối Khiến trái tim em dần dối Anh ngốc nghếch quá Songs and tears while the other planets look on uninhabited angels look and to their great pleasure they see light life coming from the souls of men who have chosen to serve him instead we have leaders out there that look to the darkness and the bad and the evil and play on it till his house has become a den of thieves. You're not going to come to this den and hear any bad news. You'll hear truth. And that truth may be that there would be an earthquake or there will be something that will happen. But ultimately, out of it will come redemption. Because God does not destroy 
God always restores. Naaman, the, the Syrian commander, came to Elisha. What will it take to receive my miracle? In his mind, he had presupposed that he would wave his hand over the leprosy because that's what he had conjured up as a religious act or deed from a prophet. Instead, Elisha does what prophets do well. They poke that one area that is weak. That's the very thing that's stopping him from getting his miracle. Elisha says to Naaman, I want you to go to the river Jordan. Naaman immediately gets defensive. What? There are, there are greater rivers where I come from. And he says to him, not only will you dip yourself in that water and wash yourself once, but you'll do it seven times. Adding coals to the fire. Naaman says, there are better rivers where I come from. Chow, I'm going. And his servants come to him and say, the prophet has given you a solution. Or well, where is it in the law? Where is it in the prophets? No, this is a prophetic word that will give you preservation. you can look to the men's swords and the strength of their legs it does not impress God but what impresses the Lord most is when somebody stands before him with a humble heart and cries out to him and praises him and says there is no other that can save us or redeem us that is what I'm talking about today I'm, I'm saying to you from the Spirit of God he will preserve our nation and our nations if we will trust in what he has offered as a solution and it's all in the word Naaman eventually listens to his servants and goes to the river Jordan he's got a river problem and he dips himself washes himself once twice three five six seven times gets out and he's free of leprosy what we need from God as a nation and as a people and as a globe, a global community, what we need is a word from God. What will it take to rid us of this leprosy? Yes, we can scream from pulpits, we can condemn from national medias, it doesn't make any difference. Well, it makes a difference, yes. But what we need is, God, what is it that you want us to do? And if it be crazy, we'll do it. And that's what a prophetic word will do. It'll make you do something perhaps that you don't want to do. But it will preserve you.